Hi, Andreas here. I think that getting an NFC chip implant underneath the skin in your hand is a really bad idea. And in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why I think it's a bad idea. But first, some background. As you may know, a while back ago, I had an NFC chip implanted underneath the skin in my left hand. And I recorded and posted a video of me using it at the airport, passing through airport security, uh, authenticating myself um, when entering the lounge, and also using it as a boarding pass uh, when and before entering the aircraft. I posted that video and it kind of went a little bit viral. I was contacted by media newspapers in the US, <clears throat> in Canada, in Germany, in India and so forth. And I also got a lot of comments. I will um, post some of those comments uh, at the end of this video and, uh, and comment uh, on them or a few of them anyway. That said, five reasons why I think it's a bad idea. First, an NFC chip implant doesn't solve a real problem. You can carry an NFC chip in a piece of plastic in a card or in an NFC tag or even in your phone and it works. I haven't heard anyone complaining too much about losing this or that. You don't lose keys very often so it really doesn't solve a real problem. The second reason is that the NFC chip doesn't really work well. You see, NFC readers, the piece of equipment that reads the chip content, expects really a flat surface chip. The chip in my hand is cylindrical. It's in a glass container and it's underneath my skin. <clears throat> so getting the NFC reader physically <clears throat> to be able to read the content of the chip <clears throat> is kind of difficult. I have to angle my hand <clears throat> in an uncomfortable way against the reader, even push my hand onto the reader, which makes it kind of uncomfortable and maybe unhygienic as well. So it doesn't really work well. <clears throat> the third reason <clears throat> is that for example, in the context of boarding an aircraft, getting the NFC reader to read the content on the chip takes much longer time than just reading the paper boarding pass or the boarding pass on your screen on your phone. It takes maybe up to 10 or 15 or 30 seconds longer time. Imagine a full aircraft. The boarding process could easily take up to half an hour longer you don't want that and for sure the airline doesn't want that. <coughs> the fourth reason why I think it's a bad idea is that the NFC solutions between them don't work well. <coughs> the SAS NFC solution and the bank NFC solution or the NFC solution uh, at your office at work um, if you have NFC enabled locks, <coughs> they don't work well together. For example, if I put any data other than my SAS Eurobonus number on the NFC chip, for example, to be able to open the doors at work, when I try and use it at the airport when boarding the aircraft, it doesn't work because it expects the entire chip to be SAS data. Mind you that the NFC chip is just like a memory card. So reading and writing to it is really simple. It, it should be possible to share one single memory card or one single chip to be used across NFC solutions. But that's not the case today. Probably because the solution designers didn't think of the idea to have a single chip work across different solutions. So in order for it to work, I have to use my phone to format the card or format the chip and then write my office ID to it. And then when I get to the airport, I have to format it again and then write my euro bonus number back onto it, which doesn't then make any sense to use it because I am carrying my phone anyway, a device. Uh, so why not just use that? 
The fifth reason, and the most important reason, and it's kind of why I'm a little bit frustrated and irritated with the people who are pushing the use of NFC chip implants, is around the health issues. <clears throat> um, if the value of the NFC chip implant can be questioned, which I am seriously questioning, why even put yourself in any health risk at all? There is a risk every time you penetrate the skin for infection. That's the case when you implant it. That's for sure the case whenever you want to remove it because you need to have a scalpel, maybe have a doctor do it and you're opening up the skin and opening up yourself for, for the risk of getting an infection. Why do that? <clears throat> I also, like many of you probably, have googled and, and found articles um, alluding to that uh, NFC chips could be cancerous. I wouldn't say that any of the material I've read is conclusive. So I cannot say and I won't say that NFC chip implants are cancerous. But just the mere idea or the risk that they potentially could be and it, they don't give any particular value to me. Why even consider getting a chip implant? <clears throat> All that said, do I believe that biohacking is part of the future? Yes, I do. I, do in the, I believe in the future we will um, see implantable chips, electronics, that add significant value to the bearer. Um, it could be picking up live data li live data from from your bloodstream for example preventing uh, disease um, maybe uh, highlighting heightened risk for stroke for example do i believe that people would would get a chip implanted that would save their lives if they could yes i do we already do it today with pacemakers, for example. It's a piece of electronic, it goes in your body, it saves lives. I believe we will see new types of implants or technologies inside of the body that actually improves people's lives and saves lives. Even maybe integrating with the nervous system, the, 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 the optical or the hearing nervous system. Um, so I absolutely believe that biohacking is in the future, but I don't believe that NFC chip implants are relevant today. In fact, they don't work well and their health risk um, absolutely overturns any potential value for the user. Now, let's look at some of the comments that I received um, from the video where I use my NFC chip uh, when boarding an aircraft. All right, so let's take a look at some of the comments I received after posting the video. First from Peter and from Eric. Wow, really interesting and congrats for being the first. Or cool, what chip do you have? I have the NTAG216. We have more concerned types of comments from Max and Philip, the first and biggest world and RFID idiot from Sweden. RFID is a Pentagon and CIA criminal slavery politic of European Union's Nazism or Illuminati came to Europe. Yas and volume dealer is on the same line of thought. How good is to be slave? Slave does not need to have brain. A slave should not think with its head. A slave should be remotely controlled by its master. Or just keep telling yourself you're not a slave, Andreas. These comments, I would say, demonstrate a concern about privacy and integrity. Um, I have two thoughts about that. The first one is more, you know, pr uh, practical and realistic. Um, the NFC um, chip, um, NFC stands for near field communication, near field, which means the chip needs to be near a reader for it to be read or written to. In this case, I, I re even have to push my hand on the reader for it to communicate with uh, the chip, which makes it obviously impossible to remotely control or read or write to it. 
and it does not have any other sensor it's just like a memory card there's no positioning in there there are no communication etc you should be more concerned about your phone which is obviously communicating on any type of network virtually and most of them have gps technologies integrated and so forth and to be honest we do take privacy and integrity security seriously on mobile devices and if nfc or chip implant technology go there as well we need to take these concerns seriously as well um, and then we have um, or i received two other types of comments um, from ludi borac uh, account name andreas sjöström motherfucker dead satanic should kill you so i did receive a couple of death threats actually people who are upset uh, with the experiment itself and maybe because there is this um, irrational interpretation of what could be or could not be a prophecy in the book of revelations in the bible um, but it's then obviously taken out of context and i don't uh, intend to further make any more remarks on on that type of interpretation so th those were some of the comments I received. You can go and check out the original video yourself to, to see uh, how and what the comments are, are saying. In conclusion, uh, however, an NFC chip implant is a bad idea. And I listed the five key reasons why it's a bad idea. I believe biohacking is part of the future, but for sure, NFC chip implants are not part of it. Thank you.